Now let me create a map inside Comjavatron inheritance package and a class named as hash map example. Okay, and the main method inside it. And I will copy the customers to here also into hash map example and their id is one two three four five okay and i will create a hash map and refer it with map interface let's say it's map and create a new hash map i may import the classes with ctrl shift o and then let's put this customers map dot put the key should be a string or a number and and let's say you will find a customer by name then you should define the name attribute as key but if you will search a customer by its customer id you may define id as the key let's say i will search the customers by their names so i'm defining the key as the customer's name so i will put customer dot get name here and with that key i will put the value the definition the explanation of this key if you think it like a dictionary this is the word and this is the explanation okay and the same thing will go for the other customers let's say customer 2 get name and customer 2 customer 3 get name customer 3 and the same thing for this okay compiler warns me about map is a row type reference to generic type map key we should be parameterized so it says it says please define key and value types for me so i'm saying that the key is string and value is customer the same thing goes inside the concrete implementation key is string value is customer okay so the warning has gone and in that case i cannot put anything other than this type pair if i put one here and put another object let's say car here it is not possible because i'm saying that put a string as a key and put a customer as a value okay that's all now let's try to find a customer with name brett so all the thing i should do is map get brett okay and it will return me a customer instance let's print out it it is null now because here i have used customer for reference two times and and there is no customer with name bread because i did not put customer five so if there is no item with this key inside the map it will return null to you now let's search for natalie so let's search for a customer with name mary and run as java application i got the customer instance mary jane and its id is 3 so so it is this instance i think you got what is a map map is a dictionary you label the object values with a key and then you search with this key now let's say our requirement is to search a customer with its id in this case i may use another map and use the customer ids as the key that's why the key will be integer and the value will be customer let's say map2 and map2 labels the customers with their ids 
a new hash map here I should define the type uh, pair again integer customer and I will put all the items into this map in that case it is it is asking for an integer key as you can see so I will get the ID of the customer label it with its ID and put it here and I will do the same thing for other customers customer 2 customer 2 customer 3 3 4 4 and 5 5 I'm doing this because I will search the customers by their IDs now now let's search for the customer with ID 5 and reference name is C2 and print out C2 you see we got bread because bread's ID is 5 here so what happens if I try to get a value with an integer value from map the first map which the keys are strings map get let's say 5 in that case c2 will be null because the keys are strings not integers so there is no key such as 5 so it will not be able to find any object and let's print out it c2 let's try it it is null you see because keys are different let me show you another thing you may set a value here and it should be an integer value and it defines the memory block number of this map if you say one here all of the instances will be put into the same item inside the map so they are all will be pointed by the same key and its performance will be like an array list an array list search so the higher the number is the better performance so I'm saying 100 here so we will have 100 memory blocks to store the keys they will be uniformly distributed in the key space and the performance will be better in the next chapter we will learn how to iterate over these maps